everyone. Um, so thank you again for the Aqua Chief and Diana Thailand for uh, having me today. So today I want to get give information for the potential and application of protein hydrolysis in snakehead. So I know everybody know to the situation in the fish meal nowadays. Uh, I want to give uh, briefly on the situation of fish meal. The sustainability of the fish meal uh, is to be to the question to do only three. One is the supply for the fish meal, right? Supply of fish meal is decreased every day. And the second one is uh, the, the, lice, the lice of fish meal price increase every day as well. And the last one is the alternative protein source to replacement of fish meal. So this slide is show the uh, global fish reproduction in 2016 have been reported by FAO in 2018. So the 80% is the, for the human consumption, and 20% is for the non-food non purpose, can be produced the fish meal and fish oil for directly to the ingredient for the aqua feed. So this slide is show the production of fish meal. Also, uh, this slide is show um, uh, the production is a trend downward into 1990, 1995, around 30%. So, and it is a fish meal price. And you see the, the price is about increased every day, right? So, but we uh, use a fish meal in the main ingredient in our coffee. So, how to manage for the aqua feed price? We should to looking for the alternative protein source to replacement protein source, right? So this slide I have been show the example for the alternative protein source. The first one is the fish free byproduct like a fish hydrolysis. Fish hydrolysis can be substitute of fish meal and don't have a effect, don't have a no adversely in the performance, feed performance and feed utilization. The second one is the animal protein source like a um, protein byproduct. Protein byproduct have a high protein but cannot use um, totally to replace fish meal because of the low digestibility and deficiency of the amino acid, essential amino acid like um, methionine and lysine. The third one is the plant ingredient like a cereal, a groom, and uh, oil seed meal, or oil seed. So plant ingredient should be concerned in the imbalance of amino acid, antinidine factor, and high fiber in some time in the low palatability. Several single cell protein like a yeast. Um, almost species in aqua, aqua species cannot to digest the cell wall. You should to concern for the digestibility at the, at, at the first. And the last one is insect meal. Insect meal is an alternative protein source. It's a very hot issue now because uh, in the EU have been approved already in 2015. I will check again. May maybe 2000, 2015 can be improved in the EU. But uh, some problem of a uh, uh, problem for the insect meal is the high chitin. You should to be uh, concerned in the high chitin. So, Insect meal have the high protein and high fat. Sometimes it has effect on the digestion as well. So I, uh, today I would like to focus on the fish reproduction. Fish reproduction have the three category. The first one is the yield optimization, utilization protein from traditional fish processing. Second one is the producing surimi like a material for the industry fish and dry product. And the last one is developing specific protein or peptide product from industry fish and fish blood product. So today I would like to uh, concern from the byproduct from the material like the head, skin, trimming fin, visceral. So overall the byproduct is almost um, more than 60% by biomass. So how to produce the fish hydrolysis? If you have the fish, fish free byproduct, you can use the um, ex exogenous enzyme for break down the uh, long chain of polypeptide, right? 
and the product is the bioactive peptide. So the product from the hydrolysis, you can get, um, you get the product of the peptide chain is around two or 20 amino acids. So the production of fish protein hydrolysis, you can nom normally use the enzyme, like a proteolytic enzyme, like a papain, pepsin, trypsin, chymotrypsin, something like that. But you should do the concern on the quality. The quality depends on the raw material, the source of enzyme, and condition of the hydrolysis. Several of the several of document that I show this slide, the protein hydrolysis have the protein content um, around 60 to 90 percent, and the fat content below to five percent, and the moisture below to 10 percent. It depends on the 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 wildlife, the difference of the raw material. For the amino acid composition. And this slide, is, uh, I'm sure, um, amino acid composition from the different of fish hydrolysis comparing with the fish meal. So it's quite uh, similar, but uh, depend on the source of uh, the raw material as well. So the product from the hydrolysis, you will get the bioactive peptide. Bioactive peptide is a positive impact on the body function and may you uh, ultimately influence in the health. Bioactive peptides are so correlated with the sequence of amino acid, right? So um, this slide is the show of the sequence of the peptide. So if you want to know the sequence of amino acid, you can uh, to see the database or the Tend to be analyzed by the sequence. Biotype sequence is a, is a, normally it consists of the hydrophobic amino acid like a lysine, arginine. So the functional of the bioactive peptide um, have a many many function. But today I I would like to address only three function. The first one, bioactive peptide can improve the feed intake because the bioactive peptide fast, passive, and easy to uh, absorption. And bioactive peptide can act through by the hormone. If, if you fish uh, feed with the bioactive peptide, animal can uh, eat too much and uh, the intake is very, very good. And the second one is uh, antioxidant activity. The, Bioactive peptide act as bioactive uh, antioxidant with the uh, attribute uh, radical scavenging activity for inhibit repeat oxidation. And the uh, last one, bio, uh, bioactive peptide can stimulate immunity, like a uh, non-specific immunity, and can uh, re resist chance of the pathogenic infection as well. So the positive effect of the protein hydrolysis on aquaculture, I have a review already. So marine, marine aquaculture species can be conducted in the fin fish, like Atlantic cod, European sea bass, something like that, include chim and abalone. In the freshwater species, conduct in the night tilapia, yes, and Persian sturgeon, but don't have uh, information in snakehead. This is about the database of the BioT peptide. You can search uh, from here, right? So now we are going to the research that I have been done with the Aqua, uh, Dina Aqua Thailand and Aqua Tip last year. This study is a uh, study the effect of the culture system on global performance, feed utilization, and immune response snakehead in fingering by different feed ingredients. The objective it's to investigate growth and feed utilize and determine the immune response. So this study we have divided into trial. The first trial is an indoor system. We have divided in five treatment and four application. 
initial fish, the weight initial fish arrived for camper fish, feeding three times a day, exchange uh, water every three days, and duration of experiment is of four weeks. After that, uh, the final the phase two, the outdoor system, we conduct in the earthen pond, the container around eight uh, square meter. And the stock density of the fish is around uh, 70 fish per pond, feeding two times a day as well, and exchange the water every two weeks, and duration is two months. So um, for the phase one, for the indoor system, we waiting every two weeks, and individual for waiting and length individual uh, for determine the length weight relationship, right? And the final we to count the fish and uh, determine the weight gain SGR, SR, FGR, PER, and uh, condition factor and length weight relationship as well. In the phase two, we have been after the final for waiting, right? We collect the hematological for determine the hematocrit, hemoglobin content and albumin content by analyzer, automatic analyzer. For the immune parameter, we have been to uh, determine the MPO catalase, NOD, ITG, lysosome, and IBA. Less, less laboratory birth activity, and the last one to determine the serum bacteri bacterial activity by uh, aerobin and hydrophila. Uh, the stain count is around four, cost 10 power 9 cell per ml. This is a uh, slide show the fit formulation. So we have uh, five diet. Diet one is a positive control. You have to do the uh, fish meal base. 30%, and the diet to either replace fish meal to 20% and inclusion with the hydrolysis by tuna. Diet three is the protein by product. And diet number four is the negative control. And diet number five is the commercial feed. So the chemical composition of the test diet in uh, diet one, two, three, four, and five um, protein, edge, fat, starch, and also the digestibility is uh, quite similar, don't have the difference. This is uh, the diet, the test diet. Uh, we have the extrude, the diameter is around 2 mm. So for the result of the phase one, the gold performance is to show the diet two in feed intake, weight gain, and SGR. Diet 2 is the diet with the hydrolysis with the low fish meal. Diet 2 is better than another, another group. And then the language relationship, we add this in the B value. If the B value is uh, equal, equal 3, is mean the isometric gold pattern. So if the B value is less than three, the growth pattern is a negative allometric growth pattern. But in another, another hand, if the B value is more than three, the growth pattern is a neg uh, positive allometric pattern. pattern. So this one is called diet two and Diet 2 is better, it's, a, uh, it's good than another test diet. It is a slideshow, it's a, 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 a plus and a negative, right? So it means fish feed with the diet, with, the, with fish hydrolysis in low fish meal is better than another group. For the indoor system, for the outdoor system by the lining in the pond. The good performance is uh, similar with the uh, indoor. The slide show the feed intake is better than another group. Weight gain is better than another group. 
and the SGR is better than another group, it means fish feed with hydrolysis in the low fat milk is better than another group. But for the language relationship in other group, either negative or aromatic, it means the fish is the slender, like uh, increase the length, but don't have a deep side. So um, this, for this much, for this question, the fish feed with hydrolysis in low fish meal is better because the high digestibility and the fast passive and uh, absorption of the peptide. This is a uh, uh, show the inclusion of the fish hydrolysis in another fish species. We depend on the different species. For the hematological data, um, in all the diet, one, two, three, four, five, is the same. It means uh, not different. For the immunology parameter, um, it shows the diet to the MPO and the lysosome is better than another group. For the respiratory bird, fish feed diet to with the uh, fish hydrolysis in the low fish meal is better than another group. You can see the number of the neutrophil can attack the radical. Uh, this uh, is determined by the full cytometer. So the number of the GMPR, GMFI is a uh, trend higher than another group. This is a show the positive effect on the protein hydrolysis for the immune system is better. So very quickly. <laughs> so I have to conclude for this experiment that I collaborate with uh, Diana, Diana Thailand. Uh, the snake head feed with the diet to with the fish hydrolysis in the low fish meal into culture system with the indoor and outdoor system can improve the growth and immune response. So the overall, I would like to give the address for the information. The benefits of the protein hydrolysis can, uh, can increase the, can increase the growth performance and can decrease the antioxidant activity and increase the immune response. So the bioactive from the fish hydrolysis is a key factor, can be uh, prove, the, prove the performance for the feed manufacturer and the farmer for increased production. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, oh.